right, everyone. Well, good subject for today. One of our YouTube watchers, Jaime Turkey Burnout Lopez, suggested in the comments a great subject to talk about in today's video. And I'm actually filming today's video yesterday. Uh, we are barreling eastbound on the 90 through South Dakota towards Lewis and Clark Lake, where we're going to be spending the day. And we'll recap that after we do the educational portion of this video. But it's super boring. I've got nothing better to do and I want to focus on having fun with the family tomorrow so we're filming today and so Mr. Jaime Turkey Burnout Lopez uh, wants to know what about backwashing with variable speed pumps what do we do when we're backwashing with a variable speed pump how do we set it up how do we do it differently what goes on with that um, you know I like to always use either the high speed setting or my quick clean setting and depending on which pump you have if you have a newer pentair and teleflow that will also do flow that is gallons per minute uh, that's how i like to run i can look at the filter and say oh i've got a uh, i don't know the triton tr60 that'll handle and i don't remember exactly right now but let's say it says on the thing 55 or 60 gallons per minute uh, for a maximum flow rate, um, I can set my quick clean to run at say 60 gallons per minute as a flow rate, and I can use that to backwash. Uh, I know exactly. I know I'm, I'm I'm pushing water through at the maximum speed. I'm really churning that sand up, and I know I'm going to get a good backwash that way. Uh, what I don't want to ever do with a variable speed pump is I don't want to backwash at too low of a setting. Uh, the thing is when we do that, whether it's a DE filter or a sand filter, whether you're a push-pull or a multi-port valve, is we don't churn things up enough and we don't get the crap out of the filter. You may not clear out all the spent diatomaceous earth out of your DE filter if the flow rate is too low. I would recommend running that flow rate at um, close to maximum of what the filter says. Now, if you don't know what that is, maybe you have an older variable speed pump, maybe you have a Hayward or Janney that doesn't do gallons per minute, I would just stick with backwashing at whatever the high speed is for your pump and go with that you'll be good now what should I set my pump to people ask hey I've got a variable speed pump what should I set it for well I don't know I haven't been to your pool everybody's pool is different everybody's plumbing lines are different inch and a half two inch how far does it run what is our total dynamic head all that stuff it's different for every single pool and it's something you need to figure out on your own uh, for the most part. You need to be paying attention to filter pressures. You need to be paying attention to uh, what your maximum gallon per minute is on your filter. Keep in mind on a filter that the faster you move water through it, the less efficient the filter is. That is, the less stuff it will filter. For example, if I take a handful of mud, right, and I smear it on my shirt, I can pull my shirt away and there's probably not going to be any mud on my shirt, right? But if I stand back and I have ginger and I throw mud right at her back really hard, she's going to be super pissed at me. Right, Ginger? Yeah. Yes, she's back there somewhere. Anyways, let me start that over. The sun's getting low in the sky. I don't know how you Midwesterners do it. It's 9.15 at night and the sun's still not down. This is ridiculous. Um, but getting back to my analogy, if I took and I hit ginger in the back with a big ball of mud really hard well when she pulls her shirt away after kicking the crap out of me there's gonna be some mud that went through that t-shirt so think of a filter that way uh, the slower we move that water through the filter the better it filters uh, the longer we run the pump the better the longer we have circulation when it comes to backwashing we want to kind of push the envelope just a little bit because we really want to churn things up. We really want to get things moving in that filter to get the most bunch of crap out we can, but we don't want to overstress the filter. We don't want to do damage. And with a lot of our higher end variable speed pumps, our TriStar 950s, our Pentair and Teleflows, our um, Pentair, you know, the, the higher end pumps, the uh, Teleflow XFs, we can move too much water through a filter, even backwashing, and it's harmful to the filter. So it's kind of a fine line to walk. Pay attention. Uh, look at your filter tag. If you don't have a filter tag anymore, look it up. Know what those flow rates are for that filter. That's important to know so you can really maximize 
uh, what you can do with your variable speed pump in terms of your filter. Now, how long are we backwashing? Uh, that depends on your filter. I know in a Pentair TR100 or Pentair Triton TR100, um, Pentair says backwash for three minutes. Well, there's some cases where you might not need three minutes. There are other cases where you might need more than three minutes. There might be times where uh, maybe in your specific case, you've got a really long backwash hose or backwash pipe that runs really far and you get some back pressure. So you've got to run it longer than that. Uh, the bottom line is whatever you do, you want to be able to see your backwash water and you want to let it be clear for a little while. And, you know, we're talking 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds of letting it run clear before you know that you're done backwashing. That's pretty much a good indicator that you're getting all the junk out that you're gonna get out of your filter, whether it's DE or it's, or it's sand, uh, but run that filter until the water's clear. Now you should have, again, if you can't go over and stand and watch the end of the hose, if it's hard plumbed into your sewer line, you need to have some sort of sight glass. And a lot of our uh, multi-port valves have a little sight glass on the side and you watch that and you wait for that water to turn clear and you know you have reached the end of your backwash cycle. It's not any different than it would be for uh, a single speed old school on and off pump. So thorough backwashes, backwash as needed. Don't wait too long between backwashes for that filter health. It doesn't matter whether it's variable speed or, or single speed pump, um, backwashes are important. So the bottom line is the answer to the two Jaime Turkey Burnout Lopez's question. I love the name, my man. What can I say? That's me after the holidays, Turkey Burnout. Um, we can kind of fine tune our, our backwashing a little bit with the variable speed pump, but not much is different in terms of um, the procedures and what we do. Uh, another hot tip, if you do have a multi-port valve, put it on to rinse for a good 10 seconds uh, after you after you finish backwashing, run it and rinse for like 10, 15 seconds, and that will prevent that puff of dirt from going back into the pool. Push pull, friends. You guys don't have that option, but essentially what's happening there is we've flipped everything upside down in the filter, and some of that dirty water is getting to the bottom of the filter where it can cycle out uh, back to the pool. It's no big deal. It's just a thing. It happens. Um, yeah, I have videos on backwashing. I have videos on servicing backwash valves, things like that. So check them out. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for the um, educational side of things. I just passed exit 260. There's a shell station. My gas light just came on and I'm driving right by. Hopefully there's a gas station nearby. Uh, we're going to recap what we did uh, tomorrow, today, or something like that. Uh, hanging out on uh, Lewis and Clark Lake, going kayaking. We're going to go to some cool antique shops. We're going to go visit my dad's hometown of Crofton, Nebraska. We may even stop in Bloomfield to go and see my great grandparents and my Uncle Joe's graves. Uh, we laid my Uncle Joe to rest two years ago after his remains were identified uh, from him, his, uh, him perishing on the USS Oklahoma during Pearl Harbor back in December of 41. Uh, it's gonna be a fun day. So stick around if you wanna watch that. Hit that subscribe button. Please join us for this wild swimming pool party we call the Swimming Pool Science YouTube channel. And we'll catch you next time. Yeah, I got a big tall cottonwood trees at the cottonwood campground here at the shores of Yankton Lake, right where Lewis and Clark Lake meets the Davenpoint, Gavin's Point Dam and turns into the Missouri River again. I think Miles' eyes are a little bigger than his stomach. He got a pile of cinnamon roll French toast. Ginger, what are you eating? BLT with egg. Mm. Mama's a food adventure. Will is just licking syrup off a knife. That's what she does best. <laughs> How's it going there, Miles? Gonna be good to have clean clothes or what? Yes. Good. taking care of chores today. Ginger's folding laundry right back there. I gotta go mail this to the Colorado Department of Revenue. So this is what the kids wanted to do today. We've been dragging them around a national park here, national park there. So this is what we're doing today. It's kids day. We're at the 
Aquatic Center here in Yankton. Looks like it'll be fun and the kids will be happy. So that means we get to be happy. How's the water, Miles? What do you do, Charles? What do you do? Show me. Oh no, you broke it. Nice job, Willow. Oh, there it is. All right, let's see you, Miles. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, Miles. Nice job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like they played music here. Oh, yeah. In this town? Yep. I, I mean... Say cheers. Right. So there's free beer tomorrow. Well, free beer tomorrow, buddy. Cheers. How's that yum? How's your ice cream, guys? Good? Good. I never, I don't think I've ever tasted soft serve ice cream. It's so good soft serve. Yeah. I'm going to kill you if you send this to See him? Yep, see, he got one. He's got it. There he goes. He's got the bait. Let's see if he takes it. There he goes, there he goes. Oh, we lost him. Oh my God. You gotta be careful, don't thrash around. You gotta like throw him, okay? Yeah. Like just like ready? Throw him like a spear. Yeah, kind of. So, okay, he's gonna start thrashing. They're really strong. Okay, watch out, he's got teeth. Okay. Two hands, Miles. Watch out for my rod on the back, okay? So, just, there you go. Okay, throw him in. Throw him in. Ready, okay. go. <laughs> How's your teeth, Ginger? Good. Shiny and clean. You are seeing things. Are you on drugs? What kind of things are you seeing? Lights that are coming up from the ground. What is it? Lights, yellow lights that are coming up from the ground. You're on drugs. Are you? You shouldn't have things? touched that fish. It's poisonous. Hang on, it must be contagious. I think I just saw something. Willow, let's see if we can see something. Oh. You guys get them? Oh, have? right down here, right down here. Right, there's a shadow. See, right there, right there, right there. Oh, see, him? see him? Get him, get him. Where'd he go? Do we lose him? This one right. Up, oh, right there, Willow. Right there, see him? Get him, get him. Oh, oh perfect. All right, put him in, put him in, put him in, put him in, put him in. Quick, quick, quick. Did he go in? Yeah. Good. No, he's not in. He's not, where is he? on your hand. Who's on whose hand? Oh, my hand. Oh, no! Oh! I killed him. Let's get another one. See who still stays lit. He does? 